Part of hosting a successful BlueJeans meeting is to ensure that your background doesn't serve as a distraction. Now, if you've ever been in a scenario where you wanted to omit or reduce the attention behind you, let's say you're in your bedroom or in another location that just isn't necessarily appealing or quite frankly, it's distracting, to get rid of that background, you'd either have to move your location physically or put up a green screen. Well, with blue jeans, we've got the ability to change out your background or even blur it out with the simple click of a button. No green screen required. Let me show you how it's done. Now, I'm already in a blue jeans meeting. I'm going to navigate to the top of the screen here where it says settings, and I'll select that. Notice at the top and right below my video here, I've got choose virtual background. When I choose this option, if you've never done this before, you will be prompted to download a virtual background pack. You'll want to do this. It only takes a brief moment. And then once it's downloaded, you'll be ready to go. And you'll see we've got a couple of options here. Option number one, we can blur out the background. And by toggling this on, your background will blur out. Now, Looking at my video, you may already notice it's blurred a little bit. That's due to the camera that I'm using. However, if you're using a more traditional webcam, your video behind you would more than likely be clear. So let's go ahead and toggle this on because it still will work with my camera and you'll get this slider. And as I slide it to the right, it enables blurring and I can go all the way to the right for the maximum amount of blur and you'll see that on the video right here. Of course, I can find the area that looks right to me and provides less distraction to others and then just let it sit there. Now, if I wanna turn off background blurring, I'm gonna to toggle this off and I'll then be able to choose if I want a new background image. And this is great because we've got a number of them that are preloaded here for you. So if I select this, I can see what it's going to look like. And I do want to call out, you might notice some vignetting or a bit of an outline around uh, my head and my body, especially around my hands as I move them. You can reduce this by adding additional lighting to your room or by reducing the motion. So frequent motions, you'll get a little bit more of that. Less motion, you'll get less. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can upload your own image. So I'm gonna choose add image. This will pull up my PC or my Mac and I can choose where that image file is that I wanna upload. And once I've selected it, you'll see there's the image that I just uploaded. I like that one. So this is a great way that you can reduce distractions that might be behind you with the use of our virtual backgrounds and or blurring.